All right, guys. Well, if you're watching this video, the last one uh, was the introduction to this lesson. This is going to be the last problem. I had somebody call me um, while working this problem. So I'm going to start over at the beginning of this problem. And uh, if, if you didn't watch the other video, watch the other video first. This is the last problem. Okay, and this is what I had written down, and the reason I wanted to do this problem is because I'm probably going to have to walk through each one of these steps. So first thing, I want to make a line to keep my work organized. I want to circle what I'm solving for. So I'm going to circle the 2y, the plus sign, everything. If there's a minus sign, that's why it's important. I want you to realize that it's a minus sign, and it needs to stay there. I'm going to add or subtract all other terms. Okay, so here's a term, and here's a term. That's a minus 10, so I'm going to have to add 10 to get rid of it. And when I add 10 to this side, I have to add 10 to this side. Notice I put the plus 10 out here, not below the 12x, and that's just because 12x and 10 do not get added together. Now watch this. When I do uh, 4x here, that's a positive 4x, I'm going to subtract 4x. And what I do to this side, I need to do this side. Notice how I put these above each other, and that's just to make it easier on myself. Um, so these will add or subtract from each other because they're like terms. They both have x's. 10, well, there's nothing to add it to, so it's just going to be there by itself at the end. Anyway, so I added or subtracted all of the terms. So here's the term. Subtracted it off, so now it's gone. Here was another term, term uh, minus 10, so plus 10. They're gone. Um, what carries down is 2y. And 2y is going to equal 12x minus 4x. And again, this is what, with your line, that's why you do this, because you want to keep everything organized. 12x minus 4x is 8x, and then plus 10. This plus 10 just carried down, 12x minus 4x, 8x. Uh, 2y carried down to right here. These things canceled out. Okay, now it says multiply or divide anything directly affecting y. So notice this 2 is being multiplied by y. It's, it's on the y, okay? So to get rid of multiply by 2, I'm going to divide by 2. So I want to divide by 2 here, divide by 2 here, and divide by 2 there. So the 2, so I'm dividing because multiply, I have 2 times y. So to get rid of the times part or the multiplication, you want to divide by that. Do the complete opposite. 2 cancels with 2. So y is going to carry down. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4x. Four and say that, well, hold on, uh, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Say you couldn't reduce, that's my final answer. Now, say you couldn't reduce 8 divided by 2. Say maybe, maybe, and I'm just going to teach something real quick about fractions. Maybe it was 7x divided by 2. Guys, just leave it like that. If, if that's what it is, then I would, I would have just written it in my final answer like 7 over 2x. Okay? Because when we start graphing these things, this makes it a lot easier. So this is rise over run. So you're going to go up 7, right 2, up 7, right 2, up 7, right 2. Um, so leaving it in fraction form is a good thing. All right? But in this case, we had it nice and easy. It was 8 divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 simplifies to be 4. All right. So that's it. Um, again, if you didn't watch that other video, the other video posted on here, that's for the first three problems, just introducing the idea.